Hi, Cancer. Welcome. Let's jump in and see what's going on here with who you're dealing with. What are the true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, Cancer? All right. Now, keep in mind, of course, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And what else here? I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. And check out my um, vlog channel, if you'd like, at Val Smib. Thank you. And Cancer, I'm going to shuffle all the cards out first. And then I'll tell you what I see here in regards to who this is you're dealing with, okay? Thank you. Stay there, Matt. Stay on the table. What's going on here? There we go. Mage. Mage says hello, Cancer. He's chatty. He's chatty and chirpy today. He's the canary today. <laughs> You look wicked. Thank you, buddy. Goodness gracious. That scared my hair off. <laughs> all right, Cancer. I'm all channeling my cat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do that a lot. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, okay. So I don't know who this is to you quite yet, but here's the thing. So they're loving, caring, nurturing to you and towards you, friendly even. Um, very hard working. So, cause they, they kind of show that energy here with you and towards you willing to be abundant, helpful. They're also kind of showing more so their own. Sorry. If you see me do this, it's cause I have to itch my nose with the pen. Okay. All right. Making money, abundant, independent kind of energy. Something about that. They get a little aggro with you. Don't they attack you with words or whatever. They're kind of cold and harsh after that, but they're still, in, they're firm on these plans with you. Um, they sit with themselves, maybe get an advisor or something like they sit with themselves and really, you know, stay in that solitude and figure out what they can do to sort out these issues and problems here with them and you, but also kind of gain that wisdom with themselves. And they just they choose to kind of take a break, relax, take a nap, you know what I mean? Get some sleep on the situation. Now, something about that is, you know, their thoughts is where now they're very depressed and going through a lot of pain about whatever's going on between the two of you. And I mean, it makes sense when people are, you know, hurt or scared, they usually get angry. So after that, now they want to battle. Now they want to fight you, start some drama, you know, that kind of energy. And then they want to get very deceptive, lie, cheat, steal, take, I don't know. And then they're back to being happy and nurturing and friendly towards you. And then they just drop it with you. Like they just end something here with you and they just go to work or they're helping out still with money, work, collaborative energy, possibly. I don't know. Maybe it's social media stuff. I don't know. They get confused because they're trying to figure out their options of what to do. And then they go on this journey and go start over, take this leap of faith here with you and towards you. Excuse me. And this is where they know intuitively what's actually going on between the two of you. So this is where they choose to commit to a spiritual religious path, maybe even you. Just they know now this gut feeling. So that gut feeling that they have, that's where they choose to drop this burden about them and you. Because they're definitely burdened about the situation. Okay. It does cause a burden for them. Yeah. And so because of that, you know, there's a lot of heartbreak and pain. So I don't know if this is a breakup. I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of pain here, but they're also ending this too at the same time, whatever this may be, whatever this is about here. So let's see more. Okay. Cancer. So 
it looks like at the with, with this reading, this is going to be either breakup or in the middle of it. Like either they already did recently or they're in the middle of it possibly here for some of you. Either or. You are so chatty, dude. What is he? What are you doing, Keebler? <laughs> he just wants to be held. <laughs> All right, let's see one more here. Okay. And I say that what I said because, okay, so they're burdened and stressed out, okay? And then they're heartbroken and there is a painful ending here. So they drop the burden and they're pain, you know, there's heartbreak and pain. And then either a few things, they already are emotionally truly connected to, because they end something, they're heartbroken about you that fast. There's already someone else or something else they, they feel emotionally connected to instead, or maybe they're heartbroken, but they do, they choose to still be connected to you. After that, they're really happy. There's a lot of happiness and that's when they close out the cycle on you. So I'm like, oh, okay. And this is where they choose to just manifest, co-create, do their own thing in life. They emotionally disconnect from you. Do they now live on their own or do you guys still live together? I don't know. And this is where they have an idea. They're kind of working on some stuff here. You know what I mean? Creating projects, hobbies, whatever it may be. I don't know what it is. So let's see more here. Okay, well, this is someone that's in a relationship with you or a best friend right now. Marriage relationship or best friend, okay? This could be someone that wants to be with you possibly too. So either or. Yeah, but unfortunately, I'm kind of getting the, the other end because it's kind of like, it's this energy here where they have this idea, then they get guarded and defensive towards you because they're in a relationship with you or they're already in a relationship with someone else or want to be with someone else and i only say that because after that the relationship they have with you they're hanging on to it financially then even they know they need to stop using you as a financial physical emotional energetic crutch of some sort and then this is where they have new love towards someone else or they want to be single okay or they are single now i don't know Yeah, and a lot is getting revealed in life. They understand what's going on, the mysteries of the illusions and stuff of life getting revealed in the situation. And this is where they choose to get guarded and defensive here towards you. And that makes them feel grateful and happy, like they're getting what they want. And then they leave it really stressed out and anxious and freaking out and suffering and going through it because of what they're doing to you. So you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you. Bye.